So thank you very much again. Welcome to everybody. And let's start with the formal introduction and formal sub of Roberto Santolomazza, Managing Director of T2I. Thank you very much. Thank you, Elena, and welcome everybody. Uh, it's a real pleasure to be here and uh, to have this uh, session together about the Intact project that is a very, very interesting and relevant uh, project we, we are fin uh, finishing to develop uh, together in a very uh, uh, valuable partnership. Uh, and uh, uh, we are, uh, have been experience experiencing really a uh, very interesting uh, situation and we we came up already with with very very relevant uh, results i will be uh, very uh, as a uh, elena said uh, not really formal but a very uh, synthetical in order to to have the possibility to to share all the information as as much information as possible so i will i will uh, make it uh, uh, very synthetic but just in order to give you a flavor of uh, uh, of this project uh, and uh, in order to uh, give a common uh, framework uh, for the discussion this morning so uh, the intact project uh, is a, a, a project that has been co-funded by the Erasmus Plus program and uh, uh, has this focus that is well synthesized by the title and the acronym that is below uh, this, uh, this title. Uh, it's about the, the possibility to benchmark and measure uh, a possible common approach uh, knowing that uh, uh, there are different situations across our countries, uh, uh, but having very clear in mind uh, the final uh, objective that is really common and really shared, that is uh, a very good uh, integration of migrants and refugees in our countries. So, uh, and this we know we already uh, had the possibility to experience this uh, also in some previous projects, but it's very, very clear now that uh, um, can miss uh, a, uh, a process that assess and value and work on enhancing competencies in, on the field. So, uh, a very uh, short uh, view of the um, of the partnership that, uh, <clears throat> uh, as um, as I said, uh, as a um, five countries uh, represented with the high specialized uh, um, <clears throat> partners that are, have been working on these topics uh, since a long time, and uh, this uh, rich variety of uh, um, of partners uh, has been also a very interesting ingredients to measure and to assess the, the, the maturity of the situation in the different countries present in the project. And uh, as you see on the, bot on the upper right side of the, this slide, uh, we had also a, a much larger network of uh, other institution bodies, uh, chambers uh, that uh, made uh, a wider resonance of this uh, of this project namely in in uh, in germany so basically the target groups uh we already mentioned it uh, uh, is made by the newly arrived uh, uh, migrants and refugees in europe uh, on the, the other side uh, we focus our uh, target on smes that we know well we all well know that our 99 percent of our uh, of our uh, economic uh, structure throughout europe and more like in a triple helix uh, or quadruple helix uh, scheme uh, we also can couldn't miss uh, the, the 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 public sector the govern the policy makers uh, the the public stakeholders uh, in order to uh, also come up with some uh, 
specific and practical recommendation also to them because we know well that uh, this uh, large and very challenging objective of uh, good integration can be reached uh, only if any dimension of the, the, the typical scheme of the quadruple helix uh, is uh, uh, represented. Uh, <clears throat> focusing uh, obviously on the, on the competencies more than the typical research. So uh, basically the, the reasons and needs for, uh, for the project, uh, uh, I think are, are very clear to anyone uh, because we know well uh, in the last 10 years how the, the migrants and refugees uh, phenomenon uh, exploded in Europe and uh, Italy is uh, well uh, affected also to the because the the is a um, geographical position but uh, we know well that is an European uh, and uh, a macro trend a, a, a global macro trend in some uh, to some extent so uh, the, the the very challenging proposal uh, was to work uh, on uh, several dimensions understanding how the also the, the the process of integration so also the the practical aspect of uh, any uh, integration and uh, um, in possibility to to uh, for a refugee or a migrant to enter a specific society has to pass through a very long bureaucratic process but on the other side and on this we focused uh, we, uh, be um, we believe and we experimented how the possibility uh, rise really much more if we work on the competencies and the possibility to find a job and to find a much better stability uh, in, the, in, the, in the final position. On the other end, the other focus uh, was uh, the um, the typical SME that in many cases uh, has uh, uh, not such a structured organization and uh, uh, to some extent has much more uh, difficulty to uh, integrate and to um, understand the, the possibility that could come from this uh, uh, possibility. So um, basically uh, I do I do not uh, go through numbers because then we will see, as Elena said, the, the situation and the figures that uh, came uh, uh, country per country from each partner, and we will have the possibility to really uh, go in deep uh, to uh, specific cases. But in general, uh, I would say that uh, the uh, the two basic basic uh, in objective are these and these are uh, matching with another very very relevant macro trend that we are all experimenting that is the aging population in uh, Europe so the necessity also to um, reach uh, um, some solution to the increasing shortage of qualified professionals so on one hand, we had the, the necessity to understand the real professional uh, and training needs uh, from the SMEs. On the other hand, to develop tools and training possibilities to uh, rise up the competencies of uh, these target groups in order to um, make it make possible the matchmaking uh, among this, the, this need and this offer. Uh, in the middle, there is a, a third area of competencies that is uh, basically the, the train the trainer need. The possibility also among our countries to define common platforms for having operators and uh, vocational trainer that have the same language that can uh, um, implement uh, really effective uh, training activities 
and uh, then share tools and methodologies. This is uh, uh, not a, a, uh, such a readable uh, slide, but this is basically the, the structure of the, the, the activity that we uh, implemented. And we will have the chance to uh, go through uh, some of these boxes, uh, let's say, uh, during the, the, the following presentation. But basically, I want to, to stress the fact that this is a, a process that we, we, we translated in the project uh, that want to be an experimental process that uh, will have the legacy to um, give to the policymaker, to local uh, uh, institutions, some uh, structured approach to uh, build on this experience. This is the, 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 the final, the final uh, message. So basically, in terms of delivery, as we, we say in this project, uh, here you have a, a short list uh, of the final deliverables that we will uh, uh, have uh, at the end of the project that uh, is going to, to come into to the end in January. And uh, as you see, there are some very practical tools and instruments, and I want to stress this uh, to finish my, my presentation. We wanted to reach uh, a common background, a common language, and a common set of tools to also have the possibility to work uh, really on a European scale, uh, not forgetting the specific local situation, the specific need, and uh, we experimented that there are several differences among our territories but on the other end we know that and we tested that the approach and some tools and the, the necessity to assess both the competencies uh, uh, in input coming with the with the migrants and on the other end the the competencies that are needed in the, in the smes that could match make with the with that person uh, are at the same and on the other end also are as uh, or, um, intermediaries and business services organizations, we need to uh, systematize this uh, instrument in order to have uh, a much more effective also circulation of people and, uh, and knowledge. So basically, uh, I don't go through the single point. I think in the, in the meantime, you already uh, read them. But basically, um, I think that this project uh, has a very interesting uh, double focus, a very local focus on one side and the other, on the other end, uh, a very European focus because it has uh, an enlarged vision about uh, also the mobility of people, uh, the capacity to be inclusive of our society and uh, uh, the necessity to to, to face some macro trend like the aging population that uh, we know well uh, in, uh, in a couple of uh, decades uh, will be a real, real problem for Europe uh, if uh, there are um, no solutions or adopted or uh, we do, do not really structurally face this, uh, this trend. So, yeah. I think if you have any question or also to the chatbot, I think uh, um, I'm uh, fully available. Uh, I apologize because I could not uh, uh, stay at, um, up to the end of the this meeting, but I, uh, I I will be here for the next hour. Thank you very much.